I've started a new study in the book of Genesis and I've st seen a couple things in there that I want to share with you some things that I haven't really caught before I guess you could say um, as we know in the book of Genesis Adam and Eve were there God created the world he created Adam and Eve and um, sin entered the world uh, they had a couple sons um, Cain and Abel Cain slew Abel um, he was jealous of Abel. Abel. Um, his sacrifice had been accepted by God, but Cain's sacrifice had been rejected. So because of that, he was angry at his brother and he killed his brother. And so Cain was uh, a wanderer for the rest of his life. He was not uh, accepted by God. He rejected God himself. So he was um, just a wanderer. And so Adam and Eve had another son named Seth. And Seth was going to be the one who would carry on the godly line. And God's people would come from him and all the way up through Jesus, our Lord and Savior. So, But there is a verse in there that I caught that I found very interesting. It's found in chapter 4 of Genesis that says this, chapter 4, verse 26. To Seth also a son was born, and he called his name Enosh. At that time people began to call upon the name of the Lord. So apparently, from the time of Cain and Abel, and the sin that Adam and Eve had uh, brought into the world, people stopped worshiping and calling upon the name of the Lord. And that continued on until Enish was born. Because it says then, at that time, people began to call upon the name of the Lord. So think about that. There's a kind of a dead time in there where people were not calling upon God. I want us to think about that now. This is where God's line picks up again strongly, and we'll see that as we move forward. But is there ever a time in your life where you stopped calling upon the name of the Lord? If there is, it's time to get back to God. It's time to surrender back to Him, repent of any sin that you have made committed before you stopped calling upon Him. And now is the time of salvation. Today is the day. And it's time for us to get right with God, get back on track with Him, and head the direction that He wants us to go in obedience to Him. So think about that verse. Look it up and check it out. Kind of an interesting thing that I guess worship had kind of stopped for there for a time. God bless you. Have a great day.